Big decisions will be made both this offseason and during this season. Now, I've been reading all your guys' comments, thinking on what I need to do and what this team most needs. And this is going to be a trial. This season is going to be a trial for the players, and we're going to get a new coach. So if we see certain guys during the regular season not stepping it up, etc., so forth, I don't, I don't know if I want to start off blowing up the core. Simply because last year was the one bad year, regular season-wise, for Del Bozo. But it was a pretty bad year. <laughs> that being said, same with uh, Kako here. Playoffs wise, yeah, they've been a bit less. But again, want to try to give it another shot. And then going, like, you know, going into the playoffs, we can check and see and maybe make a move. But I do want to try to give them more of a full run with uh, Jacob on their line. At least to start off with. And if they can't get it done with a forward coach, I'm hoping now with a, we have a forward coach, but then a more defensive third and fourth line with a better defensive core with better chemistries. If that isn't the answer for the core, then yeah, the core is the problem and we will start to break it up throughout the course of this season, or if they do well and then fold in the playoffs again, they're gone. <laughs> Plain and simple. We've got to win, and we've got to have success in the playoffs. That is the plan here, but before we get started with implementing that plan, we do have a winner to read off from last season's point scoring contest, and it is Ben Dover, the only winner. No clean sweep, but he did get two correct. He guessed for the team lead, but Dard went for Marner for the league lead, but this time the Leafs didn't have that same level of scoring. And for the goaltender, though, he did guess Sook Chain, who has dominated in the regular season <laughs> with the Leafs. So congrats to you. Best of luck to all participants in this coming season. So, I've already offered contracts to two new coaches. I've uh, moved, I, I moved our head coach down to associate because I might as well. He's got... He had an extra year on his contract. Might as well kind of use him as that. Good teaching, good everything as an associate coach. We just don't want to use his strategies anymore. So that's the goal with that. And I'm going for, as the head coach, Morgan here. Because, again, those defensive strategies are forwards. Have enough X factors that are good enough to kind of make decent chemistry wherever they are. It was really, or make good chemistry wherever they are. Did I say defensive? Anyway. Um, and it's his defensive uh, strategies that really, really fit with our defensemen. And we should be able to get a sick, sick amount of chemistry from that. So that's kind of the idea. And then Picard is going to be our new assistant as a defensive coach. He's obviously awful if we wanted to put him in the scheme fit. Terrible for the defense too, but he's a good... Very good uh, defensive coach. And so he'll fit. Not the greatest influence either. But decent teaching, decent other stats. So he'll fit into our assistant role. Hopefully he accepts. We'll have to see. Well, that's the idea here. Now. We are going to hold out. On offering. Uh, where is he? Oh, yeah, yeah, because he's tendered. We're going to hold off on Blow, on Tron. Because while I do want him, money is an issue. Quite obviously. We have to kind of hold out on him. Now, there's a couple others. I think we got to wait on Jacob as well, because he just bounces up way too much. I could just give him a one-year extension, but I'm not a huge, huge fan of that. And Wierenski, we may have a replacement for him, right? So, we're holding out on that, too. Next season, tons of money available. That will disappear when we start signing new guys and such. Oh, yeah, and Sholoval's got to bounce. That's right. Because we're likely not using him on that fourth line. 
Because he's not very good. So, first things first. Let's take care of that. Let's send him somewhere. Maybe we could send him to Toronto. <laughs> Conservative seller, huh? Do they want him? He can join a few other people. Uh, they don't want him. Okay, well, let's see a team that wants him. The Lightning want him. Seattle Sharks. Still listed as a seller. Holy crap. Really? I guess. They really don't have many good defensemen. The Flyers, do they need more toughness? Still listed as a seller. There was, some, there was an interesting idea in here. To get a crap ton of toughness, like get Andre Marin. Ooh, yeah, he's still there. It's about the same contract, no extension. But having that on the fourth line, I don't know, that's quite expensive. Again, it's the same price as Sholoval, though. So we can we can kind of theorize around that. What like seriously? What is our our fourth line is still kind of up in the air a little bit. Like our top six is pretty clear. Third line: Roche, Sillinger, Havlid. That's clear. It's the fourth line that has some question marks. But we did keep a lot of people. Edmonds is going to be depth. Lawton should be able to slot in to that four C role again. Oh yeah, Antropov's a sniper. So it's Lawton, Hartikainen. Ross is still going to have to be AHL most likely, but he is a physical hitter. He might be able to be ready for NHL with a slight jump. Dawes is a grinder. Galena is a two-way. He might be ready. Like, Galena could jump. Hartikainen has been the guy. Like, we do have other options. I want to see the jumps before I make a move like that. So, Sholoval is going to have to just be moved. Yeah, we already have a couple possibilities for internal replacements. Like, yeah, Ross could even do it. So, we're just going to have to move Sholoval here. The Flyers do want him. And that would put him at least with another member. Man, their offense is odd. They have no defense either. Oh, I'm looking at their forwards. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they still kind of have no defense. I do want to trade him somewhere with potential success and if other members are present. Habs or buyers? They don't have much money left. But Baker's here. I think he's the only one here. Why does everyone lack defensemen? Yeah, like, really badly. Probably won't find the perfect situation for him, let's be real. Yeah, unfortunately, not a whole lot. Eh. Winnipeg. There was a couple people there. What the hell? They don't have defense either. What is happening? They do have Ho Chi Minh and Dylan Benoit. That's technically their top set. They have a lot of money. So they could add enough pieces. Maybe I send them to Winnipeg. It's not a decent enough deal. What would Winnipeg give up? Second. I could, I'll trade him for a second. I don't mind that. No, nope, they don't want to. Not going to retain. <laughs> That's definitely not something I'm going to do. Okay, maybe not. Again, a lot of them are going to be listed as sellers simply because of we're in free agency. The Flyers want to give up their second? I don't think any of them would straight up because it's going to have to be on the block. What do the Rangers look like? Yikes. Trash offense. Plenty of money. 
Sholoval could get a good opportunity here. That is true. At least for the offense. You know what? Maybe. But again, listed as seller is that second. They have it on the block. This should go through. This should go through if it's on the block. All right, perfect for them, perfect for us. Sholoval is now on the Rangers. Let me update my list so we can keep an eye on Sholoval here. What the hell? <laughs> Sorry, I'm looking at it and it's like auto-correcting his name to what looks like a name of a fucking medicine. And then I deleted one letter and it came out to look like some kind of medical procedure. Okay. Anyway, he's on the Rangers. <laughs> Boom. So that's done. And we have a bit more cap space. Which will give us more room to sign Tron. I doubt it really comes to that, though. Because we're pretty much set. You saw the offense, the defense. If I can sort correctly, one, two, three, four, five. And then six Sturback. Someone as depth, either a Tard, maybe Webb's even ready. Could use him or instead Kanazko, but he's listed as top six now. Oh, Webb's list is top six now, too. Atard. Glebov. Glebov's the guy. I might honestly just use him as depth regardless. He's 23 at this point. He's got those X factors. Even if he's not listed as depth, I think I'm going to use him as depth. He's got 86 defensive awareness. Yes, his shot blocking stick checking is a bit weaker, but... I want to utilize that guy, so I, I probably will. So Glebov's likely going to be the depth piece. We do need a goaltender. An AHL starter, probably. Yeah. And while we want that AHL team to do better, or we want that AHL team to do better, it doesn't even have to be a guy who can turn into a backup because Saprikin is young and he's right there. And backups at, you know, at times, dime a dozen. So let's look for someone with that role who's pretty good. Maybe even a more veteran guy. This guy, Valalta, he could fit that role. 31 years old. 33. Alright, his reflexes are pretty shit, to be honest. So I do want someone to sim well. These guys are veterans. I don't even... Joey Decord, Spencer Martin. I might not find good reflexes here, honestly. I'm, like, looking for a name I recognize, but it's just, oh, there's Shulgren. <laughs> it's not too many that I do. Ah, oh, McAniemi. I'm going with McAniemi. All right, just snag him as our HL starter. There you go. Pay him for a year, see what he does. So that's likely going to be it, because we don't really need anything, including free agents. Yeah. So hopefully we get those coaches. And again, I'm going to hold out. Oh, I can't hold out for too long on Tron, because someone is probably going to offer him some, because it's not a whole lot of compensation. That is very true. Yeah. That's tough. It's like in the five to six mil range. It'd be a first and third. I don't know. I wouldn't be willing to give that up. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't be willing to give that up. But I'm using him in the top uh, four <laughs> or the top six. So we'll see. We'll see if we can hold out on him. If we get an offer, hopefully it's low. Fuck off. Your fan base is out of two Oh, whatever, dude. Alright, so we got the assistant at least. I have to re-go for that coach. I didn't max him out. Maybe I should have. Hopefully he doesn't fucking leave. He's literally the best person for this role. No one else. Okay, at least no one else is offering him anything. But, yeah. Okay, we've maxed uh, out the offer this time. If he doesn't accept this, we may be in trouble. <laughs> he is the guy. He is the guy I want. So, uh, yeah, please accept. Alright, we got, uh, Makinyemi. 
Uh, Bufflin extended. Yeah, we had some minor extensions here. Havilland was a more major one. Uh, no, I don't need a defenseman. Why would you think I need a defenseman? Get Sillinger off my fucking block. How dare you? You kidding me? Okay. Surplus. I mean, yeah, they're unsigned, but I'll trade them. Come on, coach. Cylinder extended. Roche extended. Just waiting on the coach, please. All right, cool, cool. We got him. So I guess I needed him. I gave him like six or seven mil the first time. I thought that'd be enough because it's a head coaching role, but there we go. We got him for the max. Love this game. And that is pretty much it. If we look, we have the forwards we need trying to fill that in. We can make a trade if we don't like it or need more grit or something like that. Going to keep holding out on Tron for defense, but we have enough defensemen. And now we have enough goaltenders. Saprikin is injured, yes, but that was, again, at the end of the AHL, or at end of the AHL playoff run. All right. Let's, uh, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to sim up here. Um, if I get an offer, I'll, I'll see, but I hope no one offer sheets, uh, Tron. So we'll see. Okay. Well, just as I was going through it, he accepted his qualifying offer. I take it. Which, how much was that? It shouldn't be too much, because he wasn't on a huge contract. No, uh, yeah, four point, yeah, no, that's fine. That's, that's totally okay. A one year, 4.1 deal. That's totally okay with me. We have the cash for it. We still have three mil of cap space. Not the most comfortable, but honestly, the only defenseman we're paying a lot of money to is Wierenski. Mo and Boakvist are on tremendous deals for three and then five years. Robinson's on six. Like, we're, we're totally fine. So that's fine. I'm okay with it. Completely okay with it. All right. So these are looking like what our lines are going to be this season. Bedard, Misa, Matheson, Dubiel, Delbobozo, Kako. Not much or any change here on the top lines. Roche, Sillinger, Havlid, same as last season, but the fourth line. Hartikainen, Lawton, and now Galena. They don't actually get chemistry, which is a bit surprising to me due to the level of X factors. Lawton here locking in the middle, but we will have a replacement for him soon in Wilson. Who does have a couple X factors. Not the greatest faceoffs, but he should get up towards where Lawton is, who has an 80. So Christian Wilson, I'm I'm uh, I'm liking what he's looking like for that center role. And he should be there by next season. Lottakinen as a right winger, two way. You know, could take over that next role. May have to choose between Hartakinen and Galena here. They're both pretty damn good. Hart Kynan has lower defensive stats, however. Anyway, that's a decision for another time. Defensively, Robinson Boakvist, plus five. Wierenski Sider, plus five. Def and then Sturback and Tron, plus three. Everyone can move the puck. Everyone plays good shutdown. This is the defensive core that's got to do it for us. It's the defensive core that's got to do it, plain and simple. Goaltenders, of course, Baresi and now Saprikin backing him up. The power play unit, Del Boboza, Bedard, Dubiel, Boakvist, and Misa on the top unit. Plus five for them. You can see the strategies, Dubiel, dishing, Bedard finishing, Misa puck carrying. Power play two, Matheson, Kako, Tron, Cider, and Sillinger. Oh, it messed this up. Okay. Well, anyway. Um, I can say Tron Puck carrying. 
And who the heck do we want? Unstoppable Force. I don't fucking know. <laughs> I don't know who the fuck cares. <laughs> Maybe Madison. Try to knock him off. I don't know. Um, yeah, we'll try try that out. And of course, the uh, cylinder will be taking the draw. Cylinder will be taking the draws here. Uh, four man. No one cares about four man. Let's be real. Penalty kill. It'll be Cylinder, Havlid, Cider, Robinson. So it's a little bit mixed up here. But again, Moe's listed as top two, so he's going to have to get some extra ice time here and there. Second PK, Lawton, Roche with Bokvis and Wierenski, plus three for that. Third PK, Double Bozo, Galena, Tron, and Sturback, plus five on that. The three man, Cylinder, the defensive pairings will be the same. And it'll be Cylinder, Lawton, and then Del Bobozo. So no minuses anywhere. The four on four line's pretty identical. Bedard, Dubiel, uh, Robinson, and Cider. That's a bit different. Again, trying to give Cider some extra ice time here and there. Four on four. Misa, Kaka, Wierenski, Bokefist. Uh, Del Bobozo, Matheson, Sturback, Tron. So the forward pairing is quite the same. You'll see the same thing here. But with Bokefist, then Tron. And then Mo. Bedard, Del Bobozo, extra attackers, shootout lineup, Misa, Bedard, Matheson, Kako, Bokefist. You saw the goalies already, and our depth is quite a bit different. Ross for my fourth line depth. Glebov as our defensive depth. Christensen is going to be our, fo our, our top nine depth. Yep, I'm doing it. He's a playmaker. He could play literally anywhere. Center, wing doesn't matter he could play anywhere he's very very good might bring down chemistry he might get a little upset but i'm fucking loading the boat here legitimately loading the boat and we'll see what happens and check out the ahl looks like you already kind of got a glimpse of it and we got all the guys in there with potential filling in roles and the scratches you can see your guys without potential edmonds atard Kanazko. Big test. Big test. That's all I can say. They've got to respond. A plus two is freaking good enough for this line. It's an 89, 92, 89. That is more than good enough for a second line. Even without any chemistry, it's good enough. They've got to respond. They're the ones who've got to make it happen. And I think... Oh yeah, Jake. It's still about the same price tag. It's unfortunate. It's UFA no matter what. Do I wait? Or do I just sign him? Could give him like two years to line him up with a couple other people. Let's see what that price tag is. Again, at least lining him up. It's pretty nice. I mean, it's seven essentially. Just under for two years. Yeah. Yeah, 695 for two years. All right, I'll just do it. Won't be a long type deal or anything like that, but he doesn't want a great one. And that's it. We're, again, holding off on Wierenski. Sturback may, in fact, be the replacement. Hart to Kynan. I would love to extend. We can keep him as RFA. I think so. We should be able to knock him down to, like, maybe not 900k. Let me, I'm actually going to do math, because cap at this point is very, very important. We need every single cent. Yeah, it's 9.5. Sure. Two years at under 1 mil. Yep, I'll do it. We'll do that, and that's it. At least on the main roster, that's really all I care about. Okay. New coach. New system. Similar lineup. We fail again. It's the core that's got to change. Plain and simple. Let's see. Um, I don't know if I switched out goalie, but I do want to check. Because I did have Hellebuck. I don't think I utilized him, but I don't want any mistakes here. So I'm going to double check. 
It's on. Okay, we're good. We're all good. Let's do it. What am I doing? <laughs> calendar. There we go. And some of you said you should go back to the calendar sim in the playoffs. Is it actually different from the advanced day sim? I figured it'd be the same because it's in the same instance, but maybe not. Maybe it is different. Heart to kind and extended. Jacob extended. Okay. Let's see what happens. Ronald Bernard dealt with a minor injury. That's not great. Please don't get injured again. Good start. Same with Bokefist. We are compliant. Waivers, blah, blah, blah. Perfect preseason. But it's preseason. Decent start so far. Alright, we finally lose. But 4-1-0 start. Allowing some go- of course. Alright, Baresi's injured. That's unfortunate. Makinami has to go through waivers, so we call up Cronwall. Hey, hey we got Saprik and he's an 83. He can spot start. So, not horrible. Baresi's not out for a super, super long time. Oh, yeah, 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 I know, I know. Give us a goalie. Coscaranta. Give me all the fins. Yeah, he's not out for a super long time. He'll miss three games, essentially. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't even think Cronwall got the play. I always do that backwards, don't I? All right, back down you go. Now, I do... I won't be able to turn on injuries in time, I don't think, which sucks. Or turn on... Or turn off, rotate, I should say. It is what it is. I gotta try to... I gotta spam stop, essentially. Okay, yeah, he's fully healed anyway. Perfect. I thought it said, like, November or something. Whatever. Let's finish off. We have a, we're on a great, great start here. Okay, that's a Cleveland player, not the end of the world. We have plenty of solid enough depth down there. Not a center, apparently, but it's fourth line. Who cares? Oh, come on now. Is it glitched, or is it actually someone's missing? Someone's actually missing. And it's doing that thing. Love it. Alright, Edmonds, have fun. For however long. Back we go. And it's doing the calendar thing now, but whatever. Bemstrom's back. Honestly, we can leave Edmonds in there, because he's... Actually, a two-way, which fits more with what they're doing, so fuck it. Bit weaker draft class, they say. We don't care about that. We care about playoff success. We'll see what our record's going to be. Uh, no, that's terrible. That's a top six. That's honestly awful. Yeah. I can just tell it's a terrible trade. <laughs> Teams really try to screw you. That's why I mostly just clear the block. I very rarely get good trade offers, but sometimes, you know, I get ones that make me think. So that's the that's the main reason I leave it on. As I'm sure maybe some of you are wondering, well, why not just turn them off? All right, big surprise. Come on. Surprise me, team. Surprise me with a kick-ass record. Lost morale cuz of individual performance. Okay, mild concussion for Makinami. Another AHL injury here. Ugh. 13-6-1. Not great. Not exactly what I wanted to see. Not at all. I thought we could do a bit better than that. Well, here we go. Double Pozo now leading the way in points. But, we are third in our division. Penguins and Hurricanes are crushing it. The Coyotes are top of the division. They just need to get rid of all the members, apparently. Maple Leafs are up there as well. Hey, our locker room chemistry is at 73, though. It's the best it's ever been, I feel like. 3.6 goals for, 275 goals against. We're not bad. 31% power play. Never have a good penalty kill. Yeah, we're not bad. At all. 
Individual points. Okay, Del Bobozo, Misa, Kako, Rope. But Bedard only has 14. Are you fucking kidding me? Interesting. There's no way that sustains, right? Baresi's not doing good in goal. Huh. Well, I'm not going to panic yet. We'll give him another month. We'll see what the uh, prognosis is after another month. Nice, decent month with a decent amount of games. Come on. Tough loss. I don't like it. Come on, boys. We're better than this. Apparently not. Come on now. Fuck me. We just trade. We just trade who who's who shits the bed, don't we? Why? Or at least we won that second game against Buffalo, lost to Toronto. We're losing to these top teams. Which we can't really afford to do. 22 11 and 1. Penguins are just having a fucking season. We're not like being, we're not bad by any means. It's a good record, but Penguins are just out of this world. They really are. Let's see where the, the numbers went from there. Less scoring, right? Yeah. Or no, that's about the same. Everything's about the same. Power play went down by a large amount. Do we get more production, though? Okay, yes. Matheson jumped back up. Bedard's getting back up there. It's looking like it's trending in the right direction. Dubiel, not great. It's being outperformed by fucking Sillinger. He's got top power play time, too. Like, what? On a good contract, sure, but he's got to perform at the same time. Bokvis and Moe doing great point-wise. Only a couple minuses here. Stir back in Tron, though, however. What the fuck? Are you kidding me? How are you so bad? He's been fine. Literally been fine every single season the entire time. What the hell, dude? At least Saprikin is kicking ass. 7 0. Oh, a shutout. Thank you, Saprikin. Bressi's got to shape the fuck up. He's awful right now. But again. Chemistry's trending up. We're still in good shape. I'm not seeing any glaring, glaring things besides, you know, Dubiel's production being a bit low. But in all, that first line's kicking ass. Maybe a lot on the power play, sure, but... I'm just gonna go up to the deadline. I don't... I'm not seeing any glaring thing where it's like, yeah, I need to trade this guy now. Because, of course, when their asses are on the line, they start performing. Cleveland player out with injury. A tard can just hop in. Don't care about a minus. Y'all better start getting it together here. Like how it's mostly to our AHL. Come on. Detroit fired their coach, so they're still not doing good. Good start. Fucking great start to this month. Raycroft was the defend... No, left winger. Get him back in there, grinder. Wow, what a start. No more injuries, AHL. I'm trying to pay attention to this. <laughs> we have, like, no right defenseman, by the way. It's fine. Come on. There we go. Alright, first loss of the month. We answer right back with a shutout. Get a point out of that. Horse goes down with an injury. He's out for a little bit. Double playmaker. Will that work? Well, they don't really have another sniper, so it's going to have to. Not going to put in the power forward. We got Christensen here for a reason. Maintains the chemistry as well. Yeah, having him as a shooter on the power play may not be great, but again, he wasn't out for too long. It's just till the end here. 
And we're still kicking ass. I don't know what happened in New York. Kent Dawes? He wasn't out, was he? No. Ah, shit. I did the thing. Whatever. I can reset it right here. Two points in two games. Really, really solid depth piece, but we're a pretty stacked team, too, at the same time. Alright, it might be all screwy with the, uh, oh no, the calendar fixed itself. Look at that. Get a point, another win. You know what I want to see, team. Give it to me. Another injury. But this gives a chance for Glebov to hop. Oh, of course he fucking changed the top six. Damn it. Whatever. He'll get good ice time here. I hate when they do that. Like, it shows me depth before, and then once the reset happens, their role changes, even though their overall doesn't. I hate it. But whatever. Again, like I said, I'm just stacking. Just loading the boat up. Oops, I don't even have to switch it. There we go. They got me what I wanted. And continuing to kick ass. 44, 14, and 3. We have surpassed the Penguins who fizzled after their hot start. 91 points. Well in first place in the NHL. No one's even close. Playoff success, though. But I like our locker room chemistry. I stripped but I stripped Del Bobozo of the captaincy. I gave it to Bedard. And I have Wierenski as an alternate. And, of course, Roche as an alternate because he's got the leader trait. And I'll show you a bit more. Oh, man. 389244. Four. I had a feeling Bressi was going to kind of turn around. I'm assuming that's because of him. 28% power play. 83.6 PK keeps getting better. Five shorties tied for second with the most in the division. We'll see how we compare to the other teams. Offensively, top. Defensively, top. Power play, top. Penalty kill won't be. <laughs> Is it in the top 10? No, it'll be just outside. Kind of middle of the pack. But everything else is literally the best in the NHL. Again, it's the regular season. 67 points for Misa. 66 for Del Bobozo. 64 for Badar. 55 for Matheson. 50 for Kako. 46 for Dubiel. 37 for Sillinger. 31 for Roche. Havlid, 24. And fourth line are all pluses with a decent chunk of points. They should all hit 20. Maybe. Maybe not. But they're doing their jobs. Spokefist is 45 points. Sider with 36. Wierenski with 30. Tron has 24. 11 points on the power play. He's a great power play performer. And everyone's plus. Yeah, he's got it over 900. He's going to keep getting better to the end of the season, but fucking Saprikin, dude. 16 1 and 1 with three shutouts. He is absolutely dumb. Like, it's dumb what he's bringing to the table as the backup. We have two incredible goaltenders. I think this is this is the tandem. Like, this is the tandem. And Baresi should get back up to like a 9 10 at the end of the season if he continues the way he's been playing. And this is a guy we can give plenty of games to. <laughs> Do have a few rookies. Wow. Okay, that's great. Now, I'm going to show you guys why I'm doing what I'm doing with the captaincies. And what comes next. Actually, Hartikainen has become a leader as well. Galena is a presence, and Sturback is a presence. Wierenski's holding on to the A right now. If Sturback maintains presence, he could take the A. And then we have an even better leadership group. Maybe Hartikainen earns an A if he can earn a true spot on this team. Maybe we need the grit guys to be in the leadership roles, but, but Dardback is captain. He's earning it as well. But we finally finally have those chemistry guys for the locker room and look what it's doing 75 percent again our best locker room chemistry i think this entire playthrough so is there a weak point i'm i'm super upset that roche just isn't getting to 86 so i can give him fucking x factors 
<laughs> it's pissing me off, man. It's really pissing me off. He's freaking solid as hell in the third line. It's great. I just wish I can give him those X factors. I don't think you make a move here, dude. You guys may have an idea, but what the hell do you do? Where do you even improve? I can't think of one. But maybe people still want horse cock or maybe even dubial out the door. We did just extend him, sure. He's on a pretty great deal, but it is just under eight. Is he earning that? Well, he's a 30 goal scorer pretty consistently. I'd say yes. Although last, yeah, last season. Actually, he hasn't been a 30 goal scorer. He has been more of an assist guy at 80 points and 68. 52 was bad, but he's way gonna, he's gonna way surpass that. Probably get closer to this. And he's gonna have 30 goals. So I still say he's earning it. Just depend, again, playoffs. Can they do it in the playoffs? They're all entering their prime now. Most of them. Matheson a little bit behind me is the same. Bedard, Dubio, these guys are all in or entering their prime. Cylinders in that. We got some younger guys in the bottom six sure, but they're hungry to prove themselves. We got a veteran down there. The defense is great. Bokefist still in his prime, albeit n nearing the tail end. Robinson has been fantastic. Wierenski, veteran. Cider, right in his prime. Sturback, you know, younger, but he's got Tron who's right in his prime. It's it's perfect. Like we we've got a great setup. They need to perform. Two goalies who can perform well in the playoffs based on age and ability. It's all right here for us. It's all it's all here. We've got to be able to make it happen. Galena takes a lot of penalties. I bet that's fighting. <clears throat> so that's the question. Can we do it? Can we do it? We'll have to find out. But you guys can let me know what you think of the deadline. That does it for now. Hit that like button. I'll see you in the next one.